Smartphone experts round robin for the iPhone blog week two. <laughs> Greetings, mobile accomplishers. This is Renee, editor of the iPhone blog here with our first look at the Palm Trio Pro, the latest handset from... Uh, hang on a second. Now, I don't want to get off on a rant here. Okay, fine, I do. But the Palm Trail Pro is neither a Palm nor a Trail nor Pro. The hardware is made by HTC, the operating system by Microsoft, and I defy anyone to call this keyboard professional. We originally debated using the Centro, which is also technically not a Trail, but is at least made by Palm. The problem was no one alive still remembered how to use its ancient OS. So, okay, along with the Fuse, HTC, and Windows Mobile, now get two bytes of the not-so-proverbial Apple. Well, three bytes for the HTC, if you can count the G1. Anyway, what does all this mean? We'll have to wait for next year to get another real honest to jobs palm device in on this contest. That is, if Nova lives up to the meaning of its name, no, not a once bright star that ends up sucking in all manner of matter available and then exploding and annihilating absolutely everything, but new, as in Palm OS 2.0, and finally, actually, gloriously, ships. Okay, wow, hostile. Okay, we're back. So the Treo Pro, as you can see here, it's a front-facing QWERTY, like all Palms have thus far been. Uh, the keys are nice. They're a little bit softer um, than the 680, which I used last. And I must say, I really prefer this. They're not as hard. I found it really difficult to type on the 680. This one is a pleasure. Uh, if it was just wider, like a, a real Palm keyboard, I think they would have a huge win on their hands. Anyhow, moving on, uh, right above the keys, uh, we'll ignore these buttons for now, but right above the keys we have the screen. Uh, Palm OS folks have been enjoying 320 by 320 since the 650, I believe. Uh, but this is newer for the Windows folks. It's a nice screen and it's flush, a flush screen. I have been waiting for a flush screen forever. That is great. Um, it is uh, really good that Palm and HTC managed to put that together. I don't know why this, the 800 doesn't have it. But it is still a square. I mean, we're in the year 2008, and I still have a square screen. If I want to watch like a wide aspect movie, do I turn it? No, it's still a square. So I'm not quite sure um, how far that goes. But it's nice for a Windows mobile device. Not Touch HD, though. On the side, I'll just focus on what's really different from the iPhone. You have the camera button there. You hold it down for a real long time. You get the camera. Up top, you have the silence switch, which is different than the iPhone because it kills all sound. Dieter, I think he said he liked it. I'm not sold yet, but I'm willing to listen to his arguments. So convince me, folks, why is this better than the iPhones? Uh, on the other side, we have a Wi-Fi button. The Wi-Fi gets favored nation status for its own button. I'm not sure why it above all radios is so honored, but it is. You can press this to toggle Wi-Fi settings and on-off status. Um, on the back, we have the nice uh, speaker, which is on the side, which is a really good idea because that way, if you want to put it down, it doesn't cover the speaker and, you know, totally destroy your sound. It's on the side there, along with the uh, Palm logo and the camera. And, you know, like, yeah, it's a smartphone camera. It's a smartphone camera. It's not Nokia, you know, N95 quality, but it will do the job. It's probably better than the iPhone camera. But uh, what isn't? Oh, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Build quality is nice, a uh, little creaky like I found the Android. That might just be the plastic talking again. I'm used to the glorious metal and glass slab. On the bottom we have, unlike the Android, we have an actual speaker jack. Yes, an HTC phone with an actual speaker jack and the mini USB, which is a standard, not like a dock connector. But then again, I probably can't plug my component video cables into this now, can I? All right, well, that is the outside of the unit. Okay, so when the phone is asleep, you get this little Kindle-esque display with the time, the date, and a phone with an exclamation mark. I don't know what that means, but it, uh, it scares me right now. To turn it on, I kind of want to hit this button like an iPhone home button, but that does nothing. Uh, in order to turn it on, I have to hit any button except for that button or the OK button, like, uh, for example, the off button. That'll turn it on, then I can hit this one. Okay, so once it's on, it's showing me what looks to be Windows 98 with Vista wallpaper. I kid you not. Uh, the desktop metaphor really doesn't suit me on a mobile device. It is powerful, it is configurable, uh, but it is not friendly. And I have felt this way since way back when I had an HP Jornada. Okay, so it's got the start button here, just like on the desktop. It drops down your start menu instead of dropping it up. Uh, you can close it again. Uh, lower down you have the calendar. Now I just got this phone yesterday and I have been failing to get my PIM data on. Don't tell Dieter. 
Uh, over here you have the um, mail button. I did manage to get Gmail and pop status started. I'm not sure why calendar and email are the favored PIM pillars uh, on the front of this keyboard, but uh, those that they, they are that. I have uh, Internet Explorer uh, on this phone. Um, modern, cutting edge, bleeding edge browser technology. I'm going to try and navigate over to the iPhoneBlog.com. I'm sure this will be easier once Windows Explorer, sorry, Internet Explorer 6 uh, gets loaded up. Uh, so here we're just waiting. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. I'm on 3G, by the way. This is the same network I use all the time for the iPhone. Oh, oh, we got something. We have total CSS failure. Um, but we are rendering the images. The images do look nice, especially on this screen. It's got a pretty good pixel density on it. I'm going to try to scroll down. Um, it's highlighting the links, which is very nice. So I could just click on those and go further into the poorly rendered site. Um, looking at forum review, one star review, how fitting. Um, going further down, the picture hasn't come in yet, but oh, the text is good. It's very nice. It's very readable. I have to give them a lot of credit for that. Um, ah, here come some images. Another review, the casemate that we're giving away as part of this uh, contest. Uh, make sure you check that out. So, um, yeah, all in all, it, uh, it is definitely Internet Explorer and uh, everything that that entails. Moving on, uh, we'll go back to the Start menu and see what else we have. We have Office, which, of course, does not yet exist on the iPhone, so that's huge points. And we have a calculator. Um, oh, oh, beach ball, beach ball. Oh, here it is, cutting edge UI again. i got to stop making fun of that. But come on, seriously, people, how hard is it to make a nice-looking calculator? Um, pictures and videos. Try and pull something up. Again, I haven't got any of my stuff on this yet, but that, yeah, it's a very nice job of doing pictures. I do like the way it, uh, it shows pictures. If I hold down the camera button, uh, there's a beach ball again, and here's the camera, which is uh, quite a bit more fully featured than the iPhone uh, camera. You can change modes, uh, you can cycle through. Here I've got a portrait shot, which, you know, actually I could just turn the phone to do that, so I'm not sure how helpful that is, but um, uh, it, it is there. I give them credit. I just uh, took a photo. Uh, do I want to add it to contacts? No, I don't have any contacts in this phone yet. Here's the phone dialer. I don't know what happened to my old Trio dialer. I think the Android stole that, so we get the Windows mobile dialer. Uh, it works. Uh, I don't have any contacts yet, so it's about the only way I can dial if I remember the numbers. Uh, coming up next, I'm going to the music uh, player. Again, no music yet, so I'll have to look at that later. Going back to programs, uh, we have, uh, you know, the icons are, are the icons. I don't notice any difference from the Jornada, but uh, maybe there are. Um, I'm going to go into Google Maps now to take a look around. Uh, here it's loading it up. And boom, Google Maps, finding my location, a little blue dot. That looks familiar. Um, maybe we can uh, zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, the screen, push resistive, got to push hard. Um, there we go. Now, uh, can I scroll like the, uh, you have to push really hard to scroll. I have to get those two layers mashed up together. No slick, uh, flips like the, uh, flicks like the iPhone, but if I push really hard, it'll work. Um, I can, uh, search for, uh, locations like, let's say, uh, Apple, uh, just, you know, get that into the Microsoft search results. Um, Apple store. Nice. And uh, how do I get that to come up? Uh, come on, there we go. And is it going to drop the pins? Yes, we have pins. Very nice. And the pins are gone. Uh, can I have the pins back, please? That's it for our video preview of the Palm Trio Pro. And don't let my mockery fool you. I actually like this phone quite a bit more than I thought I would. I do wish it were running the Palm OS, but maybe next year. Uh, we'll have a final review up in a few days, and be sure to check out roundrobin.smartphoneexperts.com for all the contest details. You can win one of five phones, five phones and accessories.